Well, good morning. Happy Sunday once again. I hope you guys had a wonderful last week. And my name is Jenny. And we're here back on the mat today to do yin yoga. So the theme of today's practice is detox. So a series of gentle twists from seated to reclined and little movements, very gentle flow movements to get the body woken up letting you feel good to start this beautiful Sunday. So let's go ahead and start in a seated pose. You're gonna rest your palms on the hands, rest the palms on your knees and just start to feel the warmth of your hands. Reconnect into your body. You can close your eyes. You gently bow your head if it feels good. As your mind and body settles in. Start to give yourself a moment just to feel the body of your breath. Listen to the quality of your breath in this moment. the body of your breath begins to develop, start to deepen the breath. We begin this practice with three cleansing breaths. When we take that deep breath in, we will breathe through our nose. When we breathe out, we're gonna softly open our mouth, exhaling a hollow sound. So we're gonna do this together. Start to empty that last exhale out. Then take a deep belly breath in. Exhale. Take another deep belly breath in. And then exhale. Last one. Deep belly breath in. Exhale. Beautiful. Let's bring our hands into prayer, gently bowing your head today. Come back onto our mat this morning to honor ourselves, to rejuvenate the inner light from within. Let's go ahead and lift our head up. Let's begin practice on our hands and knees, our tabletop pose today. So we're gonna start to come on to hands and knees, tabletop. You wanna bring your wrists underneath the shoulders. They should be at shoulder width. Also placing your knee joints underneath the hip joints at hip width. From here, just slowly roll your tailbone up, lift your chest, stay forward, slightly lifting your chin. 
that gently start to exhale, round into your back, drop your chin down towards the chest. When you take the breath in, lifting your tailbone, you can just feel that slight compression into your low back. And then gently start to release, rolling your tailbone down as you draw that belly in towards your navel. And then inhale, open your heart space forward. And then release that. We're going to continue this movement at your own pace. So then close your eyes and just observe where you are in today's body. Start to come back into a neutral tabletop. You're going to tuck your toes in. And just very gently rock your shoulders over the wrists. Fill out the wrist space. And then as you exhale, roll that left hip over to that left heel. And then you're going to inhale, roll your body forward to exhale down to the right heel. Continue to repeat this motion with your own breath. And then once that feels good, you're going to start to walk your hands slightly forward. We're going to stretch out your toes here. So you're just going to gently push your hips back down towards the heels. Toes are tucked in. And just gently roll your forehead down towards the mouth. Deepen into your breath. And then gently release, start to walk your hands back into that tabletop pose. We're going to keep your toes tucked in here, coming into our thread and needle pose. We want you to lift that left arm up towards the sky. We're going to flow for a little bit. When you exhale, just take the left arm through the right arm and hold. And then as you breathe in, roll the left arm up towards the sky. And then exhale. Twist the left arm through, hold it here. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale, lift and open. And then exhale, let's come down to thread the needle. You're going to thread that left arm all the way through towards the floor, dropping your left shoulder, lowering the left ear down. Now at this point, keep the right hand on to the floor. So you can gently lift the right elbow up, creating that beautiful 90 degree angle in your right arm. And then very gently, so you can push into your right hand, so you can keep pushing your body over to the left, rotating the right shoulder back to open your chest to the right side. If you have balance here, you can reach the right arm up towards the sky. Your option three are half fine. We'll bring the right hand to your lower back. I'm going to be here for about a good minute. Take your time to close your eyes and find your breath. Okay, 
start to release your right hand back down onto the mat. And gently just push your body up, coming back onto hands and knees here for that cat and cow. Start to take any release into your low back. If it feels good, you can take those circular movements, dropping back down to the heels, rolling the head out. Okay, let's come back onto our neutral tabletop, working onto the other side. We're gonna rotate the right arm up. And slowly from here, bring the right arm all the way through. And deepen your breath here, inhale, open the right arm up towards the sky, feel the heart space open up. And when you exhale, you wanna feel that twist into your lower mid back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, open and rise. Exhale, thread the needle pose, thread the right arm all the way through. Lower the right shoulder, right ear down to the mat first. And with the left hand next towards your body, start to pike up the left elbow at a 90 degree angle. I find that this helps me just slowly rotating in my left shoulder back. I can see my left chest facing towards the left. And if this feels good, another adjustment you can make might be walking the knees back to the right underneath that hip space, creating more belly space for the twist. And then let's open the left hand up towards the sky and then bring the left hand behind your back. Hmm, so good. Such a nourishing posture for our lower back space. And simultaneously, if you breathe into your belly, give your digestive system a little love today. Okay, let's bring that left hand down towards the mat. Very gently lifting your upper body back onto hands and knees. Once again, cat and cow to your own breath. Inviting movements this morning, if you like, just rolling into the hip space, the spinal movements, the neck space, and just exploring your body. Okay, let's come back on towards our neutral tabletop. Keep your toes tucked in. Notice how my knees are stacked right underneath my hip space. I wanna to start to take my hands forward towards the top of my mat until my arms are straight. And from here, notice when I push my hips back, my hips fall behind my knee. So I might take my knees a little further back. So this way when I do push my hip back, that my hips still realign above my knee joints. Our puppy dog pose, go ahead and just slowly start to lower the forehead down towards the mat. Now option one, forehead to the floor. Option two, you can drop your chest coming onto your chin. especially in the puppy dog pose, as you start to lower your heart space, you'll notice that you're compressing into the low back. So make sure you provide support for your lower spine. 
by engaging the front side of your core, drawing the belly in towards the navel space. Mm. All right, so we lift your head up. Let the forearms come down towards the floor first. And just very gently, just round your back. Drop the chin to your chest, feel the release in your low back space. And then gently just start to come forward. You're going to start to slide your legs all the way back. You can untuck your toes if you like. I want to start to bring my elbows right underneath the shoulders, our sphinx pose. So from here, I'm going to try to extend into my low back. So I'm going to start to squeeze my upper chest between my upper arms, kind of sliding and shimmying my way through, and then readjusting my elbows right underneath the shoulder space. And from here, you can close your eyes, slightly lift your head up, feel the heart space, Lift forward. Now, just want you to bring your focal point in your mind to the location of your pelvic bone. You can deepen into the lower back here. If you can feel your pelvic bone pushing its way down towards the mat, a very slight adjustment for a deeper compression. Three more breaths. Beautiful. Start to lower your entire body down. You can bring the arms next to your body. Turn your head over to the right. And a great way to open the low back, let the toes roll in and let the heels roll out. And invite circulation back to your lower spine. Okay, so to readjust your heels and legs. Now this time we're going to work on the shoulders. So you're going to take the left arm all the way out. Let the palms face down. So if you were to visualize what your left arm looks like to your left body, you're creating a 90 degree angle. Now bring the right palm next to your right chest. Let the elbow hug in towards your body. We're gonna bend the right knee. Start to push into your right hand to lift the right leg up. I wanna to start to plant this right foot behind my left leg here. My left toes are pointing towards the left. And I'm gonna to start to push right, into the hand, start to rotate my right shoulder back. And the deeper I start to roll my body to the left, I can just feel this deep opening to the left side of my chest, my left shoulder cap. My left ear still resting down towards the mat. Now option one, you're gonna stay here. Option two, go ahead and rise that right hand up towards the sky. And option three, right hand to the low back. I'm gonna stay here for about a good minute and a half. Just close your eyes.
to listen to the sounds of your breath. The sound of your inhale and the sounds of your exhale. You can start to bring the right hand back onto the floor and just start to make your way back onto your belly, taking your time here. And we're coming back to a space where you can turn your head over to the left and let the arms rest along the sides of your body. Toes pointing in, heels rolling out. Okay, we're gonna work on to that other side. Start to stretch the right arm out, let the right palm face down. And then bring that left hand next to your chest, really hug that left elbow tight to your body here. Bend the left knee. We're gonna start to pick up the entire left leg. Keep rotating the left knee up towards the ceiling and then you can drop the soles of your left foot down onto the mat. There you go, beautiful. A great adjustment here. You can start to feel your left knee. If you let the left knee roll towards the ceiling, you can feel that external rotation into that inner hip space. Now, wherever you are, just use that left hand as an assistance to roll your body to the right. Continue to feel out your shoulder space. And if that feels good, go ahead and rise higher, left hand up towards the sky. And then option three, take the left hand to your low back. And close your eyes. Calm down your mind. Allow your thoughts to release with the exhale you breathe out.
as the thoughts to start to clear up, start to embody your inhale. And when you breathe in, start to feel light and joy channeling through your body. And release this, bring the left hand back onto the floor. Start to roll back onto your belly. Turn your head to the right arms along the sides of your head. And let's bring those arms all the way forward. Stretching from fingertip all the way towards those tippy toes. Now I'm going to have you grab hands to opposite elbows. You're going to create a pillow for your forehead. And we're going to do a little breath work to the belly toward creating and stimulating your digestive system this morning. So go ahead and just bring your forehead down. I'm going to guide you into this through verbal cues. So with your head down, body relaxed. I want you to just close your eyes. And just observe where you're flowing your breath. I want you to start to deepen this breath with a specific movement and correlation between your inhale and the movement of your belly space. So when you take that deep breath in, start to feel your belly inflate down towards the floor. It's pushing down towards the mat below you. And when you exhale, relax that contraction and draw your belly back in towards your navel. So when you inhale, continue to push your belly towards the floor. And as you exhale, just as slow, start to retract and draw the belly space back in towards your spine. We're gonna take that deep breath in, pressing your belly down towards the mat and then soften the muscles. When you exhale, relax your belly muscles, start to retract them back towards the spine. I'm just gonna repeat this for a few more times, allowing yourself to massage the belly space, the internal organs to the practice of your breath. Oh, start to lift your head up. And from here, lie your hands out. At this point, if you have your mat, your hands should be the outside of your mat, a nice wide stance. So when you rotate your elbows up, notice how they stack above my breast. Now with your breath in, we're gonna rise slow, slow, slow. 
You let your head come down first. Take a deep breath in, rise at five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Take a breath in, gently press your fingertips, rise at four, three, two, one, hold. And then exhale, let's come down, five, four, three, two, one. Another set, inhale, rise, five, four, three, two, one, hold that compression to the low back, and exhale, invite blood flow in, coming down step by step. We're gonna do that one last time. Inhale, rise, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hands back. Fingertips pointing back. And then inhale, lift your chest up. We're just gonna transition yourself back up through a gentle flow. Lift the legs, lift the arms, and just scoop your arms forward, sliding the elbows back, hands next to your chest, hug the elbows in. Cobra, drop the legs, rise the chest, and fall back, child's pose. And take the knees at hip width, knees a little wider, whatever you prefer. And just start to really work the hip space down towards those heels. Stretching your arms forward. Surrendering your heart space and your forehead down towards the mat. We're gonna be here for about two minutes. Start to settle in. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. The breath of calm. And a breath to release. A breath in to open and receive. A breath out. To release and let go. Start to walk your hands over to the left side. Allow your right hand to guide towards the left hand for a deeper right opening.
And then guide your hands back to center, walk over to your right. And release, bring the arms back forward. With your head down, bring your hands closer to your knees. And just start to roll your body up one vertebrae at a time, drawing your knees back at hip width. Letting your head be the last to rise, eyes are still closed. Inviting blood flow back into your body. Taking head rolls if it feels good. Use open your eyes. Coming into our kneeling position here. We're going to add just a very slow flow while you're here. If this is very uncomfortable for you, maybe go ahead and tuck your toes in. If that's more uncomfortable, go ahead and just rise up. You can do this in any fashion or form you like. Now, from here, I want you to just inhale, circle the arms up. And from here, interlacing your fingers, push the palms up towards the sky. Taking that deep, yummy breath in, expanding the sides of your body. And then from here, just go ahead and take the arms forward. Palms are facing towards the front. There you go. Beautiful. Draw the hands back into a prayer into your heart space. And then gonna rise up. And then exhale, just fly the arms out, palms facing down. Slow heat, slow yummy heat. Inhale, lift the arms up. And this time, once again, you're gonna interlace the fingers, palms are facing down towards my head. I'm gonna carry the palms to the back of my head. I'm gonna to start to rotate my left and right elbow out. Start to really lean the weight of my head into the hands. And just ever so slightly, my chest is lifted, my low back is slightly compressed. Three, two, one, lift your head up, rotate the elbows in, just drop your chin down to your chest, feel the back of your neck start to really open up here. And then just inhale, lift your head up, let the elbows fly out once again. Now, Push those interlaced fingers, palms facing up towards the sky. Taking another deep breath, expansive breath into your body. And then float the arms down. Mm. Once that feels good, go ahead and just round your back if it feels nice. Just hands carrying on to your knees. Let's go ahead and come on towards the floor. You're gonna swing those legs all the way towards the top of your mat. So from here, start to adjust your sitting bones. Start to go ahead and point the toes out. You wanna stretch the tops of your feet, letting the hands fall back. My fingertips are towards the back of my mat. I'm rotating my shoulders behind my upper back really creating expansive chest space. And then from here, just lift your gaze ever so slightly. And then flex into your feet. We're gonna lengthen our spine, shooting your arms up towards the sky. And we wanna hinge from our hip space today instead of from the belly to round out. So do your best to lengthen your chest forward, hinging from your hips. Once you can't hinge anymore, go ahead and relax your arms down towards the mat. Drop your chin down to your chest. 
And wherever your hands can grab in this morning practice, go ahead and grab the calves. So you grab your ankles, even grabbing towards your feet if you'd like. Taking quite some time here today, giving every posture a deserving space and time for you to go deeper and release and open your physical body while unlocking your mind. So take your time. The comfort of your own body when you feel ready you can start to maybe Lower your head down or body a little more. Perhaps stretching your hands a little further down your legs. We have about three deep breaths left. Mm -hmm. So to start to bring your body entirely up. Now going to bring your right foot in, bending your right knee like this. I like to start this by wrapping my left arm around my right leg, bringing my right hand to the back of my mat. If this twist is perfect for you, just stay here. If you want to go deeper, wedge that left elbow to the outside of your right thigh and start to push that right arm into your left arm into your right leg and just slowly start to twist and turn from your core. And then very gently just start to release Bring that right knee down on the mat, left leg straight forward. We're going to come into a very gentle back bend. Pushing from the right hand, lift the left arm up, and just slowly lift the hip space forward. I'm coming onto my right shin here, like you can see, and pushing my hips forward. And then as I stretch my left arm up towards the sky, I'm going to start to stretch it over towards my head. A nice deep left body stretch. Slight release and compression to the low back. And then we're just going to drop back down. From here, go ahead and just stretch that right leg forward. We're going to work on to that left side. So let me change my angles for you. And we're going to bend that left knee up. This time, you're wrapping your right arm around your left leg. Left hand to the back of your mat. Your option one here. Option two, take that right elbow, wedge it to the outside of your left leg. And really feel yourself pushing that outer right arm into the outer left leg. Start to inhale to lengthen. And that's so rest. Twist and turn to your left shoulder.
And then let's release. Go ahead and bring it back forward. You're gonna drop that left knee down. Your left foot is in your inner right thigh. You're gonna bring that left hand back to the back of the mat again. Stretch your right arm up very, very slowly. Go ahead and lift onto that left shin. Start to rise your energy up towards the sky and then you're gonna just bring the, my right arm over my right ear. And release, let's go ahead and come back down. At this point, you're gonna stretch that left leg forward, start to shake out your legs. I'm gonna take one last posture and seat it before we recline down on our mats. So our bound angle pose. So you can bring the soles of your feet together. Touch it very gently. You feel the knees start to anchor down towards the mat. Then grab the tops of your feet. Inhale, lengthen. And next, so I can bend your elbows towards the waist or even out towards the side, whatever is more comfortable for you. Start to roll your forehead down towards Mother Earth. So this is your option one. Option two, if you add into the upper back and low back space, you can stretch your arms forward like this. Start to reach the fingertips forward, maybe creating a space for you to lengthen out that low back and then just roll your body down. Okay, stretch it very gently, walk your hands back in, rolling your entire body up. I'm going to close those knees together. Just start to recline down on your back. I'm going to give yourself about a minute to start to recline down. If you have blankets or pillows or bolsters, you're more than welcome to use them as you're starting to recline down at this moment. We're going to take a few recline series. Start to settle down and let the legs stretch forward. Let the arms rest along the sides of the body. I want to take Five deep breaths. Okay. 
start to stretch your arms behind your head and just lengthen into the entire body. And then very gently, we're going to slowly hug the right knee in towards your chest. Take another deep belly breath in. And as you walk out, so you can hug your right knee closer to your body, letting your right thigh massage your belly space. Just ever so slightly, just start to really lace the right knee. You're going to stretch the right arm out to the right, let the right palm face down. Use your left hand, start to guide the right knee over to your left. So depending on where your low back is, if you can't easily guide the right hip above your left hip, I like to release my right hand, place the right hand to my right glute, and just use the help of my right hand to pick up my right hip, guiding the right hip above my left hip for that spinal twist. And just stay here, or you can turn your head over to the right shoulder. Once again, adjusting your right arm out to the right. Continue to take deep belly breaths. You start to bring your right knee back toward the center. Hugging your right knee back towards your chest. What gentle external rotation to your hips today. I want to just put the right foot down on the mat, your right knee's bent and then drop the right knee down to the right side of your mat, the soles of your right foot touching your inner left thigh. So imagine you're taking that tree pose, but you're on your back. And now stretch the arms back. And just breathe. Start to release your right leg all the way forward, adjusting your hip space. When your breath in, lengthen from your feet to your fingertips. I'm going to bring your left knee into your chest.
Calm down your mind here. Surrender your thoughts to the sound of your breath. From here, you're going to bring the right hand to your outer left knee. We're going to do this a little different. Bring your left hand onto your left buttocks. And just ever so slightly use your left hand to pick up your left hip. Continue to guide that left knee over to the right. And if you find that this is too deep of a twist to carry that left knee to touch the right side of the floor, I like to bring my left foot onto my inner right leg. And then very slowly release my left arm out to the left and then turn my head over to the left shoulder. Three deep belly blocks. And let's release, bring your left knee back towards your chest. And then lower the left foot onto the mat and drop your left knee out to the left. For an external rotation into that left leg, your left foot inside of your right thigh. Let's go ahead and float our arms back, taking tree pose reclined on the mat. Go ahead and stretch your legs completely forward, adjusting your hips. Simultaneously, bring your arms next to your hips, palms down. You're going to walk the soles of your feet onto the mat, taking your heels closer to your buttocks and knees and heels at hip width. Coming into more of a supported bridge pose today, I want you to just lift the hips ever so slightly, just enough that you can start to wrap your entire hand around your hips. So your fingertips are sitting to the top side of your hips. Your thumbs is coming right behind your lower back. 
So I'm caressing my hands, the left and right side of my hip here. I'm gonna to start to use my thumbs to very gently just push my hips up simultaneously. I'm gonna to start to take my shoulders behind my upper back, walking my elbows a little closer in behind my back space. Eventually, I can start to really carry my palms towards my glutes and my low back, just lift and hold and support it up. My chin is tucked into my chest here. And just really use your hands today to be the support you need to lift into bridge pose. going to start to disengage your hands ever so slightly. So before you do that, I want you to hug your knees a little closer so you can feel the inner thighs start to activate. Release the hands behind your low back and place your palms to the top side of your hips and use the weight of your hands here then to slowly roll your hips down, taking it one vertebrae at a time. There you go, beautiful. Once the hips touch the mat, give yourself a big hug, knees to the chest. Lift your head, wrap your arms around your knees. Continue to hug the knees tighter to your chest. Feel the low back curling up the mat. And then relax the back of your head down. Spread the arms wide. And just let the low back drop down. Legs are still off the floor. And we're gonna rock left to right, hip to hip, massaging into your low back. This feels good. You can probably use your knees and start to crease a smile around your face or semi-circles to go into a little deeper space between your hip and low back. Eventually making your way to these circular movements, reversing as you need to, to balance the entire body. Okay. From here, just bring the knees back to center. Stimulate a little blood flow before we begin this beautiful Sunday morning. I want you to start to kick your heels into your glutes. Start to bring your hands into a fist and just start to tap the sides and inner thighs whatever feels good. Really massaging in towards your legs here. And once that feels good, start to let loose. Relax the arms along the sides of your body. Stretching your legs down, corner to corner. Feel free to use that of your props if you like for Shavasana. Just close your eyes. Use this time of deep reflection to go into the depths of your mind and navigate the open space of your heart.
I'm going to slowly guide you back into this body. Start to move into your fingertips. Move into your toes. Send the arms behind your head. Placing both your feet onto the mats. And let's roll over to your favorite side in a fetal position. For the very last time, we surrender ourselves, taking our time. We're going to come back into a seated pose, resting your hands to your knees, inviting three breaths to the body. Go ahead and bring our hands into prayer to the heart center. Bow your head. This morning I end our practice with an inspiration to lead you through your day. I breathe in the fullness and the richness of life. I observe the joy as life abundantly supports me and supplies me with more good than I can imagine. Just go ahead and lift your head up. With the light and love in my heart, I honor the light and love within yours. Open your eyes. Namaste.